Hello my warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Advance 3062. We lost the King Crab in the last episode, which makes me very sad. I really loved my Rack Monster, but it is what uh, it is and uh, now we have to keep going from this point on. Which is again super super sad, but hey, let's just do what we do here, which is uh, killing everybody. We're gonna destroy some more mechs. Actually, let's let's get that here. Get a bit of higher tactics. I want him to get to tactic 6 so that he can also make some reasonable call shots here. Um, also, the other guy is probably not able to get anything done. No, no, no. And Lemonade is out of action. Hey, but she learned from that. That's pretty cool. Um, unsteady threshold? Overheat threshold? Or just base weapon hit chance? Hmm. I think I want the base weapon hit chance here. Alright. So, the problem is... We lost the King Crab. The good thing is, we can test our new Marauder build that is ready in 12 days. So let's wait for that to be there again. Let's wait for Lemonade to come back out of the Med Bay. And uh, there was actually one cool comment saying whenever I say something like Lemonade is coming out of the Med Bay, um, he was imagining like like a like a soda machine, which, which is just completely dripping and there's Lemonade every, everywhere and uh, Lemonade is sipping through the... Um, the grids on the on the decks and it's so cool. I love it. I love that image. Now, first things first, we want to play a mission that is, uh, I would say, capture base first. We're playing in the desert. We're gonna bring the Marauder. We're gonna bring Lemonade back. Is the Marauder good for cold shots? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I would say my lance is pretty set up, pretty well set up here. So let's dive into this. Man, I'm still mad that the King Crab got got destroyed. That was so crazy. Man. As you might tell, I have the like the same shirt in as in the last episode, which means that I'm just recording this in a bulk. And um yeah, that's my, my plan for today. Let's see where we can go here. Maybe we can destroy more mechs. Hopefully on the enemy team. Let's see about that. But yeah, nothing nothing really happened since the last episode, because again, it's just five minutes, so I don't really have anything to talk about. For that reason, I would say we're just are gonna dive directly into the combat. Oh wait, there's one thing that I can talk about while we are in the loading screen here, and that is uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. I was actually picking it up, and it's quite fun to play. I probably have played it with you on stream already, when you're watching this episode, because today... I wanna, I wanna play it on on Twitch. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. I like it. It's like the little, the good old um, privateer series back then. It has the same feeling, the same appeal, the same graphic style, even I would say. So that's definitely a game that I'm looking very much forward to playing. I think I'm not gonna make a YouTube series out of that because I think this is better, better off in, on Twitch. It's more. It's more a game where, where you have some some uh, pauses, some breaks in between, where the pace changes constantly from action dogfights to uh, let's just drive to, or fly to the next uh, star system and and get our job done there, something like that. So it's better for just hanging out with people and chatting. On the way. Oh, we found some people. Thanatos, a thunderbolt, <laughs> and the dragon. Oh, you know I have to. Okay, only PPC available there. Hmm. So here's what we do. It's a full multi-target. Shooting the PPC to the Thunderbolt in the back. Why not? I'll tell you why. Because the hit chance is bad. Um, but we're gonna spread up our... Um, SRMs. Because I wanna drop acid on the guys. Let's do it. This is all for the debuff. If we can deal a bit of damage, I'm already happy. Ooh, nothing on the dragon though. We had a 33% chance shooting six missile missiles, and we didn't connect a single one. All right. Oh yeah, Thanatos, come closer. That is a good idea. You will see the full force of my atlas in a second. Or oh, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't even get to that point. Hmm, give me a second. Yeah, hit chance is still quite garbo. And we'll try to destroy the dragon before anything else here. Let's go. Headshots! Can we get two of them? No! Only one. 
All right. Next up is the Thunderbolt. Good hits there. But you know what? I have a lot of armor around my Atlas, so you won't be hurting me so much. Still, I want that dragon. I also want the, the Thanatos, and we have a quite okay hit chance here. Does that make sense? No, not really. The good thing, the only thing, um, the only reason to shoot the Thanatos is that it has the acid debuff right now, so we would deal a lot of damage. Let's shoot everything over here and just the mediums down there. Maybe it hits, maybe not, doesn't matter. Okay, dragon getting shred. I mean, yeah, that's 24 damage. Definitely worth it. Lemonade is also still there. I would say she's taking the high ground. Oh, we can only shoot the gauss to the dragon. Alright. So, our, our target is predetermined here. Is it, though? Can we shoot this guy? 40%. Yeah, let's shoot the guy with the acid. Also, the guy that we have already shot a bunch of times. Okay. I'm super curious how the next round goes down. It's now dragon time. He's just moving forward. He's not that scary. He's uh, running a, an AC2, an LRM10, and two medium lasers. So it's a dragon 1C stock build. Nothing, nothing scary here, really. And here's how we do it. 215 damage coming in like a train. Missing. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> oh man. The train is just gone by. It's like, like, a, like a person standing next to the tracks. Uh, the, the very angry train is running towards him. And then he's just passing him because he is on the tracks and cannot really hit this guy. <laughs> okay, so much for my Atlas melee attempt. That didn't go that well. Anyway, I know what's going well. It's gonna be a headshot attempt here. Let's do it. You just need to call it. <laughs> that's all you need. Alrighty. Yeah, that's the final test on the on the ground. We can probably take that up. Yeah. Oh, nicely done, guys. Nicely done. The Thunderbolt is going for a melee attack. Yeah, you are hitting me. Nice job. Also, 80 damage. That's quite respectable for a Thunderbolt. It's pretty good. Still, the dragon needs to go. In this round, I just want to mitigate the damage that I'm receiving, which means uh, shooting this dragon to pieces that still has an active turn in this round is probably the best idea. All right, quick draw. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm a bit baffled that we only see heavy mechs. This um, the soul situation is a bit undergunned. Speaking of undergunned, this definitely is not. All right, the dragon down. It's two down, two to go. So the thunderbolt acts first. Question is, is he gonna run around my Atlas, backstabbing me? Is he going to melee me again? Oh, he's taking a completely different target. Okay, whatever works for you, buddy. I wouldn't necessarily have done that, but I accept it. And the quick draw is also coming in. Yeah, they are actually making use of their initiative. Sometimes the AI is a bit weird when they when they have heavy mechs that could act perfectly act and completely ball up on one of my mechs, and then they're just reserving to the last turn. All okay, so quick draw almost down. We need 60 damage here. That means you're gonna do it. I mean, we have way more than 60 damage, that's for sure. But I wanted to try something here. I wanted to see what happens if I bring the Atlas in the back of this guy, which doesn't help, really. 
Doesn't help because he has pretty high evasion. But you know what? We're gonna bring him in the back of this guy with a melee attack. Something's happening. I cannot move the camera. What? You missed again. Commander? We really need to talk about your melee attacks, dude. I'm there. Like seriously, look at that. Even Rola can do better. See? At least she hits. All right. hit him hard. <laughs> yeah, hit him hard now. Do it. Man, if I'm losing some components now because of your inability to hit some, that's not cool. Your arm is also pretty low there. 68 armor. That's not much. Alright, redeem yourself. Come on, 99%. Yeah, I can accept that. At least we made him destabilized now. Oh, to an extent where he's knocked down. That is what we need. That is exactly what we need. Alright. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the Annihilator. Let's go. To the face. Cool. Mech destroyed. All right, so far so good. Now I need to somehow get to the low ground again. And before I step into the end zone there, triggering the reinforcements, I want to cool my mechs down and I want to all group up. Yeah, we can go down here. Perfect. I mean, look at this little graveyard here, this little mech graveyard. Sometimes you need to appreciate the models. When whenever I'm playing it in a in a way where I try to just get a good overview on the battlefield, the drawback is that you that you don't get to see the models from close range, right? It's like a little ant farm that you are watching from from the sky, like that. You see overview, but it, it takes away the immersion. I mean, look at this. You can already see the Atlas bowing in shame in front of the Thunderbolt that he wasn't able to hit properly, right? I'm your Spaniel. By the way, I'm your Spaniel. Um, we figured out in our Twitch stream that that is coming from Shakespeare. That is a saying that the the point of the saying is you you can use me to your liking. I'm your Spaniel. You can look that up. It's pretty cool. All right, and then cruise, cruising around. I would say that we are grouped up enough and we are also cooled down enough. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. And here they come. Great. As if they were just called. Yes, Commander. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move over here, bringing them a good target as in the Atlas. I also use Vigilance here, so that I have a higher initiative and of course the Guarded State for this round. I don't know if they are sensor locking and shooting me. Maybe. Commander? Annihilator, okay, we're done. I think we can even afford another Vigilance. Because we have so much resolve. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna use Cruise. Sprint in, man. Use Vigilance. And be done. So, what do we see? We see an 85 ton mech, we see a 75 ton mech, another 70 toner. Oh, not too much opposing force here. Could it be that I just took the um, the 70, sorry, the 70 ton mission, yeah, uh, the four scale mission? Roger that. This might have been. Oh, never mind, there's a Marauder too. Alright. Also a Grasshopper, as well as a Stalker. Hmm. We will be shooting the Stalker. Confirmed. That's what I was hoping for, stray shots to the backliners with Acid. They were very nicely um, stacked up there. So our shots that missed were actually hitting the grasshopper. It's perfect. Alright. Oh, this is perfect. And here comes the cold shot. So we deal still 72 damage with our Gauss rifles. And we got him. That's the strength of the acid. Maintaining good damage there. And as soon as the Grasshopper is not evasive anymore, we can we can completely unleash hell on this guy. Stop. You're just 
embarrassing yourself. Stop. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, we're gonna go for the Marauder here. So this is our large laser annihilator. He definitely has the chance to kill. If we are getting lucky. Didn't hit the head once. But that's fine. Ah, this is pretty bad hit chance. We need to get closer with this. Still, we hit him a bunch of times. I'm very surprised by that. It's cool. So, turn number three is the hopper. Hopping around, shooting my atlas, not connecting though. Perfect. Hmm. I can try to punch him. What does it do? Apart from being fun. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Here's what we do. Gonna go in and do another precision strike to the face. Also doing nothing. Yeah, the cool thing is that we are still extremely evasive, so the missile barrage from the outskirts is not affecting us too much. That is good. Standing by. <sighs> okay, roller. One more chance. One more chance. Targeting for an alpha strike. Can we get there? Yeah, at least he's not shooting at us anymore. That's an achievement. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm here. Hmm. I'm walking here. Yeah. Let's go. We're not shooting the PPC. We are uh, probably going with Artemis so that we can just deal some damage. He still had acid online. Ooh. Commander? Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Also, please get closer. Also, another thing that I should consider is picking up an energy targeting system for this mech. It just doesn't hit reliably. It is not good. And yeah, the Grasshopper has 4 evasion right now, which is also a big drawback in terms of our hit chance. But the energy targeting system that is, I think, in the, sh in the store here might be a good pickup for our Marauder. So that we are able to actually hit something. Waiting for orders. Okay, so he didn't move. That's good. That. that is very good. For that reason, we'll go Acid. Very nice. Target's taking a critical hit. I believe the 85 toner in the back liner, by the way, is a stalker. I'm pretty sure about that. Shooting his long range missiles relentlessly. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? No, I'm gonna use this guy. Am I? One second. One second. Before we go for the Grasshopper, I need to check if I can destroy this guy here. Let's do it. Headshot. Yeah. The last, the last laser hit the head. <laughs> Not really what I was expecting there. Alright. Let's kill the Hopper. And then we go for the Stalker. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. I mean, at the very least, we have this guy. I'm there. Let's go, Lemonade. Gotcha. That is a solid amount of damage. And now you can see the strength of this build. The amount of raw damage that we can throw at the enemies are is just so good. Yeah. Stalker going in with an alpha strike, but I'm super happy that my Marauder is soaking it up. My Atlas is, you know, not in the best state anymore. But, we can still throw acid around, and that's exactly what we're gonna do now. I like this hybrid build, this is so cool. Okay, have acid. It's gonna try to take the kill. It's probably you. Oh, a bit hot here. One large laser. Less is good enough. And it kind of works. I think we got like... Two or three consecutive shots with the mediums here on the head. Waiting for orders. You're also too hard. Uh, cruise. All right. Let's try cruise. Ah, we got him. Why not in the first place? The Gauss rifle connecting in the very, very last shot. 
when it's all already completely irrelevant how much damage we really deal. We just needed one more hit. No matter which weapon system. Alright. So we're gonna use our Annihilator to get into the evac zone and then we can go home and play the second mission right after that. Holding here. Standing by. And here we go. We go home. Stabilizing and breaking. Mission successful. Cool. What do I pick up here? I would say this mission. This mission might be hmm. Might be just a money pickup for us. Pretty much. It's nothing really that I technically want out of this. By the way, for all of you Rogue Tech crazies out there, Rogue Tech um, doesn't need so much time anymore. The developer said that it would be released within the next week, I would say. And, or would th they would say. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I really hope that the release is gonna be stable and it's working well. So, yeah, this is a Marauder part. This is also... This is also the Royal Stalker. BFB. Then we have a 75-ton Stalker. Yeah, sure, let's take that too. Why not? Alrighty, we get... The... Almost... No, we have a... Yeah, we have a Stalker 4P now because we already own the part. That's so cool. So we come out of this with two mechs as well as... Um, yeah, a bit of crap here. But that was good. It helps us with our finances a lot. And that enables us to pick up more plus and plus plus weapons from the stores. That's pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, anyway, next mission is gonna be a Destroy Base. And here I'm a bit sad that I don't have a dedicated LRM carrier anymore. I mean, sure, I could bring my Highlander. But it's just a Highlander. It's just a 90 ton mech. And I want to stay at 100 tons whenever I can. I know, it would be the better tool for the task. In general. But... Why why use a small wrench when you can have a big hammer? You know? <laughs> That's my reasoning behind that right now. It's just more fun. Alrighty, guys. We have 2 million C bills. We don't need any Argo upgrades anymore, right? No. That leads me to think that I can use the spare money that I have to make my mech warriors even happier. That mech is ready to fight, yeah, I think this is how we do it. Uh, let's also build the Victor together. That mech you, wanted is back online. you don't say together, right? That's just the German thing that I just said. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We'll drop the Stalker. Goodbye. We'll drop the other Stalker. Goodbye. And we drop the Victor. So here, here's what we do. We're gonna go ahead and sell the mech, the mech parts, the mechs themselves. And... We will, for the next financial report, we will be a bit more generous with our uh, upkeep. So that our mech warriors are gonna have a better time on the battlefield. Okay, here we go. That was that. Next contract is coming up right now. And it's gonna be the Reconquest Destroy Base mission with a good amount of salvage. 4 out of 17 is nice. And I'll just bring those guys here. It just makes sense. Another spare pilot would be a nice idea, I believe. At the moment, we only have two people that I can, that I can, you know, swap in. Maybe training some more people would be actually a good idea. Let's see. What do you think, guys? If I if I happen to stop uh, playing uh, BattleTech right now, oh, I was wondering, I was wondering how many people are interested in this point uh, anymore. It's just the thing that is going on in my mind. Like we are in the absolute end game. I know that this content, it might feel a bit repetitive, but I think there is still some value to it. There is still, still something to it that, um, you know, just throwing yourself on the battlefield every now and then, having like a half an hour to an hour of, of gameplay and just big stompy robot action. I know there is not much progress anymore. So, is that still enjoyable for you to watch? And I believe the people who would say, yes, of course it is, are the people who are still watching, right? I mean, I'm craving for a new playthrough. I really, I really want to start over again. But at the same time, I don't really want to start another Battletech Advanced 3062. I'm, I'm looking more forward to Rogue Tech. But since Rogue Tech is not released yet, can I do? That's the question that I'm having right now. 
Also, 74 damage is what we need. Okay. Come on. There we go. 74 is exactly three lasers, three of the mediums. If they hit. Alright, dealing some damage to the sniper turret and the other one. Destroy! Perfect. Okay, one turret down. What else is coming? Ooh. A lot. Luckily, I'm guarded in the forest here. That really helps. Next up. Commander? Ah, roller. Roller, roller, roller. Let's go in here and see how much damage we need to do. It's 120. That means technically three large lasers. I'm gonna gamble on that. One, two, three. Let's do it. Multiple targets confirmed. So, starting to deal damage to the shredder turret. Getting all of the hits here. That's good. Ah, two misses there. No, wait. One miss. We are down to 40 damage on the one turret there. Alright. Luckily, we still have Cruz. Yeah, and Cruz has now the ability to destroy both of the turrets. Just to make sure, I'm gonna shoot one PPC and two medium lasers over to Bravo. Actually, that was a good split. And we have all the turrets here. The first line of defense down. Perfect, in the first round. That's just a lot of firepower off the board. I really do like that. Huh, next up, an unknown mech. Yeah. Hmm. I think staying in cover has some merits here. Next up, heavy sniper turret. Yeah, also, acid makes so much more sense here. And you know what? I'll just shoot acid over to this mauler. One. Nah. Ah, hit chance is garbage. Yeah, in that case, I'm not doing it. Okay. Brought it down, Commander. Mm hmm. The enemies are sensor locking me. They're setting up for a kill here, but I won't let them do that. Waiting for orders. We need crews. We need crews on the big Marauder with the Gauss rifles. Okay, that's the only angle that we get. But it's a good angle. It might be the angle that kills. Ah, uh, not yet. Okay. So my goal at the moment is to lure them in, to make them push me, to give up their defense so I can retaliate. And my Atlas is the bait. Always is. Lots of evasion, good cover, good guarded state, and we are not taking so much damage from this. Great, so 46%. Now I want direct line of sight. There we go. It's only 40. But I'm also getting closer to the fight here, so we'll do it like this. Yeah, this is okay. Gotcha. There's the first headshot. There's the second headshot. Got him. That's a kill. We got him. Okay. Was that a turret or was that a mech? No, I think we destroyed all turrets. So four of them. One, two, three, and the one in the base. Four. Good. That means... That means that we have another turret up there, somewhere. Uh, sorry, mech up there, somewhere, shooting us with lots of auto cannons. 150. Hmm. Okay. 150 is this. Okay. Copy that, command. Enemy structure damage, commander. Of course, only if we hit everything, which I assume. So I'm going for the optimal scenario here, and then we deal some damage to the other building already. It's down to 60. Okay. That's fine. Ah, damn, we're gonna do this right. Next! Waiting for orders. My Atlas needs a bit of defense. How do we get line of sight to this guy? Ooh, that's kind of weird. Um. Okay. So we're gonna put the Atlas... 
Aha, uh -huh. reinforcements, nice. Uh, we're gonna put the Atlas up to bait here. That's an Atlas A! Look at all the missiles! Okay, interesting, Mac. But yeah, we're gonna shred your base a bit more if that's fine for you. And if not, I'm gonna do it anyway. So, let's do it like this. Multiple enemies locked in. 21, okay. Maybe I should have shot one of the SRM-6s to the Target building here. Yeah. It doesn't matter too much. I'm just doing something in my free time between the turns where I can engage enemies. Although, although I gotta say, my right side torso is not looking that smart, that, that, that smart anymore. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what I wanted to say. It doesn't look that smart anymore and I need to do something. I need to send it to school or so. <laughs> Sometimes my, my words are weird. My language is weird. I'm sorry. Sometimes my brain is doing... things. Oh... I heard something. I don't, I don't know if you heard it too. There was a... there was an audio cue. There was an audio cue for something very specific. Ooh... It's gonna be interesting. I don't know if you can win this mission here. So first this Atlas needs to go. And quickly. As quickly as possible. And then we're gonna deal with the reinforcements. Also my Atlas needs to go somewhere else because those guys are engaging him from the right side mostly. And our right side, as you can see, is getting slightly damaged. Alright. Let's do it. Give me some ammo explosion or anything, please! Man, this Atlas. Yeah, he's stressed, but he has armor for days. Ah, okay. So, uh, if you're wondering what I'm just saying here about this audio cue, I think I heard an enemy EWS, an Electronic Warfare Suite. The one that was introduced with Urban Warfare in the Raven mission. So, there might be a mech that shields his friends from being seen. Uh, okay, so we are dodging everything so far, that's good. And I don't know if um, they have fixed it yet, but it might be that I can only destroy that guy if I have a sensor lock person. Which I don't have at the moment. You know? That is my problem. Also, my problem is that I'm not evasive anymore. Alright folks, let's get this done. Okay, we're gonna vigilance. Then run away. Are we running away away or are we running... And where are we running to? can just do this. Yeah, I will. I will, I will, I will. Alright, here we go. Kill? Ah, uh, we have one crit on the core at least. And he's unsteady now, that means the Atlas is gonna act first. Ha! Huh, running away. That's pretty bad, honestly. I really wanted to kill this guy, but hey, let's try to get some... Can we get line of sight here? Full Not to those guys. And that, again, might be the reason that they have some ECM going for them. But hey, uh, Atlas is still there. We're gonna fire at him. That's a headshot. It wasn't enough, though. Go. Oh. So what's coming? I just want to present them more targets. Which definitely works. Good. This mission here, all of a sudden, turned out to be quite dangerous. Yeah, you can see that. Now that the Corsair shot, he is not protected by ECM anymore. That's that's it, the 70 tonner down here. That's a Cataphract 0x. This guy is running the EWS suite. That is it. EWS suite. It's the Electronic Warfare Sweet Sweet. No, you know what I mean, right? The EWS. Let's stay focused on a single target. Although, give me a second. Yeah, the Corsa has good hit chance, but this is better. This needs to be done now. We don't get anything done, though. What? Also, there's nothing in that arm, so it's not really worth shooting that guy right now. 
Breaching shot. Okay, I'm fine with that. Roller. Commander? Roller, roller, roller. I think we just need to get in and shoot the Corsair here. It just makes so much more sense in terms of the, the amount of damage that we are able to deal. And here you can see it. There it is. The Cataphrag 0x. That thing is running on the left side torso. The EWS. The EW equipment. Electronic Warfare X1. Ah, uh, man. I mean, if we can salvage that, we would completely cheat the game now. Oh, nice hit on the head, by the way. But we cannot still target him. We need to underrun his minimum distance. His, uh, we need to get into his ECM bubble, technically. Yeah, just split the damage. That's what I need right now. It might be that we are pulling back the Atlas. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Their sensor locking, they're not shooting. That's good. And we only take 60% um, damage from this. Oh, it's on now. Yeah, it is. So can you run around here and shoot this guy in the front? Come on. We have to. Also, Archangel is not really good at making call shots, so I will just hope that we get more crits on his engine with our splash weapons. We got him! Okay, so this Atlas is not backstabbing us anymore. Uh, also, I think it's worth noting that we still have... Ah, this is the Garrison. Those are the two here. And then there is the reinforcements down here, I see. Good. Waiting for orders. Where is... where is Lemonade? Commander? Oh, sorry, Roller. We can't get in there yet. 53%. If I stand and shoot, I'd be better. Oh, one more! One more headshot! Come on! Not quite. Not quite. But we have enough resolve to make another attempt. And now it's gone. Now it's gone. He's in the bubble again. But after he shot, wait, after he shot, he should be visible again. Ooh, where's the camera? Yep. There he is. Let's bring Cruz in. I need to move around at least a little bit. Alright, here we go. More headshots, please. Alright, Corsair. Down. That's super, super good. This guy's just running a ridiculous amount of AC2s. I mean, it tickles, but it tickles a lot. Cool. And he is stealth again. I cannot shoot him as long as he has that little blue eye next to him. Which means I need to now kind of push into his comfort zone. And while we are at it, we can already destroy a building. So, we have our primary objective done. God, I really hope that we can destroy the Fract. If not, we would be in very big trouble. Okay, more missiles. It's super interesting to see that the enemies are sensor locking one guy and then shooting the other guy. It doesn't really make sense here. Okay, Battlemaster. Uh-huh, 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 yeah. The other guy looks like a Zeus? Oh, and it's an Atlas! It is another Atlas. I mean, I have my I have my priority pick already. So if I go in here... He's just losing one? Ah, I thought it was a little bit different. Okay, uh, yeah, we have a problem now. Maybe we can destroy the Atlas real quick? Please? No, it didn't work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't you dare running away. Uh, this is not good. Uh, we have screwed up. I have screwed up. You didn't do anything. It was me. What to do now? How do we get out of this? The ECM dude needs to go. That's the thing. The Atlas also needs to go. I mean, I have one more chance. 
One more chance. Who am I gonna use? Waiting for orders. I think it's gonna be my Annihilator. It has to be. Come on, give me the headshots. Is there anything that I can blow up here? Ah, he has K, so it doesn't really matter too much. Wait! It's a light engine. Oh, I wanted to say, that's XL? No, it's a light engine. So center torso, breaching that and then just critting the engine? Or going for the head? I go for the head. One of his LRMs is crit and the engine is crit once. But that hurt. I mean, there's still something I could do. Don't destroy my Marauder. Oh man, I exposed him too much. He has no evasion. I'm not in cover. That was a horrible move. Ready for orders. Oh, God. How close can I get? I cannot shoot my missiles. Okay. Then Cruz has to do it. And we have to get lucky. Also, I'm deliberately putting him into open terrain to give them just another target. Mm-hmm. Crit on the Gauss, crit on the LRM. The big weapons, two of them, are critical. That means he shouldn't really be able to hit us properly. Okay, Atlas RS, large lasers, LRM-15 and an AC-10, as well as my foot getting destroyed. Ark, help. Help, 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 help. Multi-target. I will shoot my PPC in the hope that it hits to the backliner. Also, acid. Absolutely. Let's do it. Fire. It hit! His sensors are impaired, that's also a negative hit chance for him. And we got acid on the cataphract. Maybe I will survive this in the end. Enemy sensor lock detected. I only need to not get killed this round. Wow, he actually hit me. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're not fine, but we are safe. Ish, at least. Uh, maybe not. Oy, oy, oy. My mech is coming apart around me. I see that. That was a big hit. I didn't expect the cataphract being that, that devastating. Ho, 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 ho. Run! Just run! Yes, command. Yeah, we will vigilance here. Confirming that so that we can sprint, and then we'll we'll toss a twist like that. Trying to get out of this. Ten four. Good. Good, good, good. Now the other guys need to get forward. Yeah, this is okay. Again, taking the damage for the team. Man, this one move, this one move to open terrain there that I didn't think about correctly. I was not, not paying attention properly. That could have completely destroyed me. Annihilator is fresh, so we're gonna bring him to the front line. Uh, still firing at the Atlas here, of course. Great. Great, that's 40 damage that we need. Critical hit, Commander. Okay, Atlas shooting more LRMs. Oh, come on, don't crit me. Don't you dare critting me. The damage is only one each missile, but yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. How to win this? How to get this done? Yes, Commander. We have to break line of sight. This is how we win this. And we're gonna bring the Atlas in. No shooting. Just running. This is as good as it gets right now. Okay, here we go. Um, I will take Artemis ammo to shoot it to the backliner. I just want to get some crits on the engine. Maybe it's enough to kill. Confirmed. Good, some solid damage here. There's another head hit on the Cataphrag. And the Atlas is destroyed. Cool. So if we can get rid of the Fract, I can then maneuver with my fresh mechs. Uh, I can get them to the front line and attract some more fire. It's also not good. Reporting heavy fire. 
But it's better than my Marauder right now. Alright, full throttle you say? Yeah, let's kill this guy. Guess what? We didn't kill the guy. Don't you dare destroying my Marauder. Okay. I have a turn now. That turn includes running away with your with my arms waving. Uh, I also use Vigilance again. I need that damage reduction. Run! Run, run, run! And kill! I was so hoping that this guy would die now. Holy crap. Alright, Hatamoto chooses the Atlas as its target. Good. Very good. Barely Two more mechs in this turn. That can technically destroy my Marauder. We are down to 13 structure. Oh. Leg. Bunch of misses. Oh no! Missiles! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm losing armor bad. This Atlas is turn one. Okay, it's my turn. I'm ready. It is my turn, everybody. What am I gonna do here? I'll do it like this. Making making them... Mm. How do I do it? I need acid on the backliner, definitely. The Battlemaster needs to get shot down by one of my friends here. And the rest is going for the Fract. Frack down. That's insane. This is really good. We have the PPC as well as our acid SRMs. Atlas, don't you dare. Perfect hits. Oh my god! It hit the sides and the legs. I need to break line of sight, guys. I just need to break line of sight somehow and present them more targets. Like this. Just like this. Great, the battle master's getting shred. Let's see what we can do. Nah, okay. We only ripped the arm off, which was one machine gun. Next round. Next round. Atamoto going for the Marauder. Okay, they are taking the bait. This is perfect. What is the Battlemaster gonna do? This is also not looking good anymore. I'm here. Run away. Run away. This is okay. Let's move. Let's shoot the Battlemaster. Um, yeah, like that. Also, precision strike. Is there anything critical in the side also? No, this is a stock battle master. Okay, standard engine and so on. Hmm. Okay, the only way to break the line of side would be a center torso destruction. And we got it. We will get out of here alive. We're gonna bring every single one of you guys home. Don't you worry. I got your back, buddies. I got your back. So, it's time to twist to the other side now with the Marauder. <laughs> this side is nicely cooked. And now we're gonna flip the pancake <laughs> and bring the other side in. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, we need to get the Annihilator online. I think the Annihilator is the best one. And I'll try to destroy the Atlas first. Headshot! That was not a single headshot. That's crazy. I should have used Archangel, maybe. Not maybe, probably. Most likely. Getting that asset online before I shoot would make so much more sense. Uh, still, we can do it. Oh, wait, we can actually do both. Yeah, asset here. We shoot it over to the Hatamoto. Res is going for the Atlas. Ammo explosion! Oh, maybe that is what we needed uh, all the time here. And we also primed the other guy. Okay, uh, left side twisting, I said, right? Let's do it exactly like that. 
So, we show the other cheek. Dealing 90 damage each Gauss Rifle. This is amazing. And we have a PPC off the board. Alright, so this guy has one PPC, one ER Large Laser to hurt us. And that is it. And of course, 120 melee damage. Yeah. Still alive. I think that's it. Standing by. Now it's time to go all in. Let's do it. Um, exactly like that. This is amazing. Reporting critical hit. This is amazing how much damage we deal. Does acid stack? No. I think we just dealt 24 damage or something with our uh, SRMs. That was really crazy. We go for center here. 100%. So now we are dealing 48 on the large lasers, so it's gonna be fine. That was just a 20% damage increase. Yay, we go home. And we go home alive. Good. We also take the Atlas A. Because I want to see what we can do in terms of missile build. I think this is the thing that we still haha <laughs> miss. Um, that is just a big barrage of missiles. And the Atlas is a 100 ton mag that has a ridiculous amount of missile hardpoints. That was close here. That was really close. But there it is. Another Atlas. Um, S3. Ah, that was just the Gauss guy. Yeah, okay. Hm. We could take another Corsair. That thing is uh, pretty crazy because it has a good amount of ballistics. But at this point... At this point we are going for 100 ton max. Nothing else. Artemis E cooling. Nothing that we need here. Um, there is the EW equipment. I'm gonna take that. But I don't think that we should use that. Just because... Just because it is it is too strong. It is super duper mega strong, guys. I will show it to you. It brings you to stealth. Although in a very late game it doesn't have that much of an impact anymore. Because mm, you can cheat. Quote unquote cheat or abuse, let's say that. I think that's a better word for that. Um, you can abuse that in a way that you just reserve to the very last turn, letting the other enemies in heavy and medium bracket do their stuff already, and then you come out of your cover in the last turn in turn one and say, Haha! You've never expected that, right? Here we are, out of our ECM bubble, out of our stealth, and then you shoot them, and next round you're gonna get stealth again, the enemies are like, Huh? What hit us? I have no idea! Hmm, I better run around in circles and look for them. And then you reserve until they've done that and you shoot again and so on and so on. So it's super strong if used correctly. However, in the very late game when there's mostly everything happening in turn one, eh, not so much anymore. I want to take, take a look at my Atlas here. Very important. Um, I want to see what we can technically do with it. So here's the Marauder. It should be in good condition anytime soon. And we're gonna build another 100 ton assault mag that is gonna be the Atlas A. Let's take a look. So that thing comes with six missile hardpoints. I love it. Oh, imagine what we can do. Oh, imagine what we could do. So I have two things in mind right now. First, we're gonna take our punch atlas and put everything from that guy over here and just put a ridiculous amount of SRMs on this mech. This could be something. Definitely. What we could also do would be this, yeah. Maximum armor, that's how we start. We're gonna put a 300 rated engine on this guy. We're gonna put an XL upgrade in here. Double heat sinks, of course. Oh, come on. And at this point, it is all about... How many LRMs can we stack on this? I'm gonna take 15s here. That is 4 LRM 15. 4 LRM 15. And the cool thing about those is that they are so heat efficient that you don't really need to put any more heat sinks on the mech. That means the remaining 22.5 tons. You can do whatever you like with. Double AMS. Double AMS plus a bunch of large lasers, maybe. 
So this could be a ridiculous mech. Seriously. Um, let's do it like this. And you have so many missiles. This could be fine. Okay, let me build this real quick. So, la laser AMS. I think I want that. And then, yeah, a regular one here. Okay, so cooling is still pretty good. We need, of course, ammunition and all of that. What we also need is... Uh, maybe the EW equipment. Oh my god, this thing is gonna be so good! I just realized we can easily put that on this mag. Um, the rest is gonna be ammo, plus probably just two mediums or something. So if we have that, we don't need... We don't need uh, the Guardian ECM anymore, right? Because this thing is just better. Not getting hit at all is better than getting a bit more evasion. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Uh, lower arm is possible. Uh, and there's another thing possible. Ah, uh, composite. We don't have that right now. But I think I want endo. Yep. I do want endo. And we'll take just a lot of LRM Artemis ammo. Artemis here, Artemis there, Artemis everywhere. Then there's one ton of AMS ammo that I need to put in here. Alright. Then, more ammo. <laughs> this thing is grinding through the ammunition like crazy. <laughs> Follow the leader could also be a thing. I'll bring one bin of Follow the leader. I think that's the amount of ammo that I want. Now. At this point, I need to think about what my support weapons are, and I think it's gonna be two ear mediums. Alright. And now we have a bit of tonnage left over that I will use for something like this. Bigger engine. I still wish I had a 325 available. Uh, okay. E-cooling too. Alright. And that is technically it. I could drop my lower arms. Is it important to get the mediums on point? No. Instead, I want more stuff. I want more ammunition, probably. Like, running dry on this one would be horrible, because your main weapons are the LRMs. So, let's make sure that we are not running dry at all. Extended range LRMs, sure. Gives us a bit more versatility, and I think the last one is gonna be... Ooh, Swarm? Swarm? thing is so stacked up. Uh, yes, I know that I'm over tonnage, but here's what we do. We just drop a bit of front armor and back armor. This should be fine. So, 2 million C builds. Goodbye for you. But we have a new mech with an EW equipment. And um, you will see that, guys. You will see this dude here next episode, I promise. And if you enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.